You can't think of France without cheese, but in France there's over 350 different kinds of cheese. So when I first came to the market here, I didn't know what to buy, and I was afraid that I was gonna waste money on something that I didn't like. So I bought the regular stuff I already knew. And today, Vincent is taking us to a local market where they have fresh, artisanal, not at all industrial kinds of cheese, but all different kinds of things, and he's gonna help me to discover some new fabulous things, and we'll share that with you. So are you ready to go? I am so looking forward to doing that. Allez, on y va? Let's go. Let's go. Every district in Paris will have an outdoor marché and this one has a covered area where you have all the stalls and all the vendors that are selling their stuff, so let's go. Yeah. Bonjour, ça va bien? Ça va bien, vous? Impeccable. So many choices. If you buy an industrial cheese in the grocery store, it's not a big expense, but the quality of the cheese in a place like this is amazing, and the price reflects that, so it'd be easy to blow a bunch of money on cheese you don't like, so let's find out. Uh, I can't wait to try this stuff because I would never have chosen some of these things and it's really exciting actually. That's not a grocery store stick of butter. That is, oh my god. So I know there's a ton of different kinds of cheeses and if we didn't pick the one that you like, put it in the comments below because I want to try them all. Do they have a bakery in the market? Oh yeah, of course yes. Let's go get some. Oh yeah. When you're buying bread and baguettes, you have the traditional baguette which is white bread, but the one that we love the best is the tradi grain or the tradition, that's the best baguette. Raisin grapes, cheese, white and bread. Okay. Tenez ça, madame. So now what we need is some wine to go with that bread and that cheese. So when you're in France, they don't have liquor stores like the US. And you can find all the booze you want in a grocery store, you can find wine in a grocery store, but if you want a better quality of wine, you go to a cavist. Nicola is a traditional wine store. You're gonna have somebody in here who really knows the wine, and they're in conversations to open some in the US. So that's a good one. I'm happy. Let's go try it. Got it. it kind of smells like a diaper, <laughs> but it tastes like no heaven. way. Sometimes the, the cheese uh, smells very strong, okay. but in fact, when you eat it, it's very, very soft. Okay. That's very strange, but that's the way it is. Okay, you see. So those are 10 of the most iconic French cheeses yeah. and the ones we wanted to try most today. And you're going to want to know about these when you come to France. It's very creamy. It's very smooth. It definitely has the, the tang of a blue cheese, but it's not harsh. It's like it walks you into it. It's a very smooth, light, distinct flavor. And like I said, the blue cheese goes great with red wine. It's definitely a strong cheese. This one goes great with red wine, so. Mm. 
This is very soft and this is a creamy cheese with crunchy bread, creamy here and crunchy here with a glass of wine. Really a delightful, mild cow's milk, a really great cheese. I love it. And I'm just gonna have a little piece of bread ready mm -hmm. and a little bit of cheese. And you can take some butter also, salty butter. Butter on want. the cheese? Yeah. Oh, of course, yes. I think I've heard everything now. I'm gonna put butter on my cheese, oh, not no, my on bread. your bread. I'll show you, I'll show you. On my bread. On yeah. your bread. Salty butter. And Crunchy bread, salty butter. Here we go. It's somewhere between like a camembert brie, but it's not soft and squishy like that, and it's not sharp. It's a little bit like a Munster, maybe. It's a firm, soft cheese. It's very mild taste. It's very easy to eat. This is definitely one I would buy again. Mm -hmm. uh, again, Normandy is known and is big with butter, so you get some beurre à la motte, and that's like real good butter. There's nothing industrial about that. Uh, Pont l'Evêque is local from Normandy. You get a baguette and that, and it's really good. Pont l'Evêque. So Marwal is from the north of France. No kidding, they have that cheese with their coffee in the morning. Like they'll <laughs> eat that. It's a true story. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah, they That's put a piece true. of bread, they have a piece of Marwal, and they'll dip it in their coffee. I swear <laughs> to God, they do. For us Parisian, we're like, uh, are you, you sure? Are serious? <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of butter again with Marwal. You put your cheese like that on top of it. In terms of smell, it's not a very strong smell cheese. It's a little bit stronger than we say Pont l'Evêque and Roblochon. Now we're going up a level in terms of flavor. It's got a little bit more of a kick to it, especially if you eat the, the skin, because I, I, I am. Uh, very easy to eat cheese. So I'm gonna try some because I've never had this before. I like that. It's a little bit pungent. That doesn't bite, it's not so sharp. It's absolutely delicious, and this I will be buying this more often. So next, we're gonna try Colomier. And this one is a little bit soft. It's like, like it's soft here around the outside, and then the center is um, a little bit thicker. More than a cream cheese, and it has a, an extraordinary flavor, and I love it. Yeah. And you can eat this coulommier with some fresh salad. Green salad and coulommier, this is very, very good. Okay. Life is good. Life is very good. So the next one we're gonna try is the morbier. You can see it's a it's a soft, pliable cheese, but it still has some uh, elasticity to it. Yeah. Am I supposed to eat the skin? No, not okay. this one. You can see that it's from the blue cheese family here. And I'm just gonna eat it like that. It's a very mild cheese with a distinct flavor that's very pleasant. It's not sharp like a blue cheese at all, but it's a little bit more like, if I think of an American cheese, that this one is like something stronger than a Munster, but in that same kind of a family, the way, um, the way that I've known cheese in the US, with a lot more style and quality. Here's the thing, in terms of good life, having a platter of cheese like that, French bread, good butter, and a bottle of red wine. I mean, I, this is a good life. This is it, right? Yeah, if they tell me what do you want for your last meal? This. You know, this. I want to say a platter of cheese, no question about a bottle of bread, and a bottle of red wine. That's what I want for my, That's last, it. For my last meal. Oh, yeah. All right, what do we try now? Hmm. So the Camembert at itself, it's just the most iconic cheese of France. Remember that then, when the boys, the Marines and the boys came in the Second World War on the Normandy beaches, one of the first things they, they tasted, that was the camembert. That's true. Yeah, yeah because and they, I arrived, they arrived in Normandy, and the Normandy people were so happy to see all Americans and Allied coming in the French beaches, they was just giving them some uh, Calvados, alcohol, yeah, Calvados. and camembert. And yeah. they was very, 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 very happy. <laughs> yeah, uh, camembert, so again, camembert, mm. yeah, it's bread, butter, you know, real good butter. Oh, yeah. Just close your eyes, we are just in Normandy, and this is so good. By the way, if you come to France and you want to try camembert, please do not buy it in a store. This is not gonna be the kind of camembert that is gonna give you the, uh, the texture and the taste that you want. You wanna go to a fresh market, you gotta find out where they are, they're usually two times a week, or you can buy in a fromagerie, you'll find some fromagerie all around Paris that sell cheese and just make sure you get a camembert that's actually farm made, that's a artisan camembert. Don't buy it in a store in a, in the box, buy it like this and it, it has to be running a little bit. If it's running a little bit, like this is starting to run, that's a mark of a good camembert. 
That doesn't taste like anything I ever bought in a grocery store. Before we went shopping this morning, mm -hmm. I thought I knew it. Fresh butter, baguette, a red wine, and you're in heaven. This is the quintessential French cheese right there. would have said this is like a Gruyere, but this is a lot smoother than a Gruyere. It's not as hard as a Gruyere. It has a, a more of a crumbly texture. Mm -hmm. This one needs wine. Yeah. Most of the time we start to teach to the young kids mm -hmm. to eat cheese with this one. You do not start with the kids with Camembert. No. You start to eat cheese with the kids with this type of cheese. You see? This Comté cheese is part of how you teach French kids most of the time the French culture of cheese. Yeah, that's interesting. I love it. How do you? I do. But what's interesting because I know Comté, I've tried Comté, and it's very true that there's a big difference between a grocery store Comté oh, yeah. and and a farmer Comté. But also the difference in how hard it is or how dry it is from the three month to the six month to the nine month to the thirty month. Just Comté. like wines, yeah. All yeah, it's, good, it's, it's getting uh, all the just like wines. It's a good vintage, and it's um by the by the aged cheese. You won't regret it. That for me is heaven. This is darn good cheese. This is good. It is so soft that it's spreadable, smooth and creamy. It has a unique taste because it's a goat cheese. You know, like I've had goat cheese where it's a really sharp, gamey kind of a flavor, but this is not that. This is very smooth, very creamy, and just full of flavor. It's very mild, it's very soft, it's delightful. Again, this is very mild. If you don't like sharp cheeses and you prefer a little bit mild, this is very, very mild. It's really good actually. Try, try wine instead. This cheese, the Qatar, comes from south of France, from the Pyrenees region. It's from uh, the region of Carcassonne. Carcassonne is a beautiful city in the south of France. It's a medieval uh, fortress, a city, and that's where it's coming from. It's a very mild goat cheese and it's very good. And Colleen, you need to come and try it. This is another one that I never tried before. Feels like it's almost hard and soft at the same time. And it's very mild, it's delicious. I'm not having another bite. So these are 10 fabulous, iconic French cheeses that we love and we recommend. And if you got value, please subscribe, click the bell so you don't miss a thing. Yeah. And until next time, ciao. Au revoir.